guys, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and blessings to you. And thank you for coming to see what I'm about. If you can do me the honor and please like and subscribe, even hit that notification button and even hit the bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. Even drop a comment if you feel free at the towards the end of the video. And if you are a returning sub, as always, thank you for the support. Namaste, love and light to you. And thank you for the support and coming to see what I'm about today. Today, I'm back for part two on Twin Flame 101 using visualization. Guys, it's like when we want, we want what we want. We want what we want. And sometimes it's hard to actually get what we want. Especially if it is if this is for the greater good now. I'm not talking about, you know, when you're trying to get back at somebody and you know somebody done cheated on you or somebody done try to take your job or try to take your man or something like that. I'm talking about powerful stuff. You know, just positive, powerful, positive stuff. We have to use our visualization to get what we want. Cause it's just like you know, with me and me wanting to get home and be reunited back with my family. I had to, you know, it's like, even though I'm not right there, and I say tell you guys this all the time, I'm not there yet, but you can't be, you know, sad and depressed when you're not getting the stuff you want, even though sometimes we catch ourselves getting in the moment, getting in our feelings. But we have to go through these different stages of life to get to what we want. And when you can start visualizing what you want in life, and you know how bad you want it, you'll visualize that stuff until the point where you'll start seeing the signs. You'll start seeing the synchronicities. You'll start seeing things just popping up, which is signs too, divine timing on everything that you want. But you have to be able to visualize them. You have to be able to think, is, is this what I really want? You know, and it, it's just like with me, stuff is coming up and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is happening. You know, I'm seeing the synchronicities. I'm seeing the signs. You know, I keep seeing my dad's birthday, the anniversary, my birthday. You know, I'll see him saying happy birthday or, you know, stuff like that. Even though it's not my birthday, it's like me congratulating myself on being a better person I am. Not sitting up here being sad and being upset. You know, like I tell you, you're going to have people test you. You're going to have people hurt you. Just when you know, just for that discouragement. But we need to have that in our lives we need to have that because and it's bad to say that but when you can thrive off of that not feed into it but thrive off of it it's just like when somebody tells you oh you can't do this you can't do that you have to visualize yourself actually doing it like you know when my family you know i had a family member tell me you know it's hard to sit up here and give up weed and cigarettes and stuff like that so just for the point i had to give that mess up just because they told me it was too hard to do so anytime I start, you know, stressing, want, you know, roll up one or, you know, get get to my higher self or whatever, I had to learn how to get to my higher self without having to use that to have to use that as a tool. Because it was fine at that time, but you know, I used it for that moment and it was there for what what the purpose was to get me where I had to be. But then I had to leave it alone. So now it's just like I'm able to do things on my own without having to worry about smoking. So it's like when I start craving it, I'll just pop a dag on spearmint in my mouth and just keep it going. And, you know, it might be a little aggravating or whatever, but it's healthier for me. You know, it's like cigarettes and stuff like that is bad. You know, but I'm not saying weed is bad. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying it wasn't meant for me anymore. I just couldn't do it anymore. And it's just something that I'm proud of actually saying. You know, even though I had my slip ups and stuff like that, you know, people, we're going to have those. But that is growth. That is just the growth process that we have to go through. So when I visualize myself, you know, doing better things, it's just like more, you know, I'll be able to concentrate more. I won't be able to forget things the way I used to when sometimes, you know, when I would smoke. And even though it would bring me to my higher self and it had a good purpose to it, it's just something I couldn't do anymore. So it's just like, I'm not the next person that does it. You know, maybe they need it for different things. I mean, this different municipal purposes or whatever so to each its own but it's for me i just couldn't do it anymore so i just feel really good visualizing myself you know what you're going to get through this you know you're not going to smoke cigarettes no more because you know it messes with my, my vocals got love the same but it was like i was so stressed out that i used cigarettes for stress 
and it actually messed with my voice a little bit. So I know I needed to quit that. If I wanted to be able to sing and I want to be able to do the things I want to do, I have to be able to let go of things that no longer serve me. That it has like a negative impact on my life. So guys, I'm not trying to keep you today. I'm not come in for probably another part three because I'm on a move today. Um, and I will talk to you later. Much love to you. And please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button and hit that bell so you'll know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you, even if you can, so please even drop me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. And I always try to make sure I answer them all. So, um, and I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild. And today I'm listening to Alicia Keys' diary too. So, uh, the instrumental. But I will talk to you guys later. Peace, love and be wild.